All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Hearthstone. It's about that time of the week when the new solo adventure came out. Uh, it's actually for the League of Explorers, and it was supposed to come out last week, but last Thursday was the Thanksgiving, so they delayed it an extra week, and it's finally here today, so I'm pretty excited. As usual, we're going to go through all three normal ones. We're going to do the class challenges and do the heroic separately because I probably have to make a new deck specifically to beat that however it's that time to watch me get wrecked by stuff i have no idea we do have the season pass or whatever like you buy everything at once so the ruined city and we're about to get started i know you guys don't see much hearthstone on my channel it's something i do play mostly on my own time but i do play it very regularly so staff, the pearl of the tides is in stranglethorn jungle Sir Finley's there, but I've lost contact with him. Before we get started, hold on. Let me see. Everything is okay. The audio. I don't know if that's too loud or too quiet, but we'll be fine. Kanaga have Finley. Hurry, explorer, before he's dinner. Summon a hungry Naga. Oh, that can't be good. I assume a normal shouldn't be too bad. I don't know how it is. So. I haven't changed my decks in the past, like, month. I don't know what to play. We'll play Warrior. Last time, I think we just played Priest throughout all of it. So, we'll switch it up a little bit. Uh, my Warrior deck is primarily just a regular, standard Control Warrior. So, I don't think there's anything surprising. There we go. Alright, so what the hell is that? Dinner time. Tonight we have I always liked the Naga sleep. class in Warcraft. Greetings, Explorer. I seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Could you help a fellow out? Wait, so... Ah, oh, it's only a 1-1. One, one. I assume in Heroic it's like a 5-5 five, five or something. Uh, I think it's generally better to play this one. I say, it's awfully dark in here. Holy shit, what? They buff each other, or is it just stronger? Alright, listen. We're actually going to have to execute that Strike. one. Was much too close. Discover Get a new basic hero cauldron. power. Uh. This can go really badly if I kill this one and it just keeps buffing. Oh, wait. Oh, it's all random? Or is it just a different one? Okay. Holy shit. Alrighty. Well, I think if it plays that, I should probably pick Fire Blast. Realistically, I don't know how much worse it could get if I didn't use cleave now. I could have just taken it out manually. Maybe keeping the this goes base. I'm dumb. Oh my god, it's gonna go face again. Do something. Well, at least that kind of combos now. Okay, I'm gonna have to save these to use them together because that's my only taunt activator. Um. 
Well, that's awkward. I could kill it, but at the expense of health for all of them. Realistically, I just kind of want to face damage as much as possible now. Depends on what he does next. I'll probably do boom if he summons something. Alright. That thing is kind of useless now. We got our hero power. Alrighty, moving on. I assumed a smart play would probably be kill this. Yep. That's off curve, that's awkward. We might as well just get rid of this as fast as possible. Next turn we'll probably boom hero power or boom that one or we'll see. Or we could just win next turn, possibly. What the hell? Alright, so he's on a very strict clock right now. I think we win. We still win. Excellent. That one wasn't too bad. I just didn't know what to expect. We'll take a look at all the cards after we complete them all, just so I can give you an idea of what it might be good in afterwards. Alas, I'd hoped to avoid Giant Fin. How well, for glory. Draw as many or draw cards until you have as many in hand as your opponent. So since we we were playing a control warrior, we generally keep a lot of cards in our hand. Uh, that's generally not a good idea, so we're gonna have to play some sort of fast-paced deck something where you get rid of your hand quickly Generally warlocks get rid of them paladins if you play a secret paladin Mages maybe Gul'dan versus giant fin <laughs> Your soul shall be mine. Are you supposed to keep Haunted Creeper? Probably not. If I didn't have that, I probably would have kept it. <laughs> the Murloc noise is always so funny. Oh my god. What in the fuck? Wow, that's obnoxious. I don't even know what to do. Um, if I killed that one, that's still 3-2, that gets a free kill. That kills that one. If I played the power overwhelming, that would have I would have killed that. And that would have just gotten a free kill. God damn it. Oh my god. Actually kinda bad right now. <laughs> I'm about to take ten damage. Put this apple on your head. 
Please just go face. Just go face. If he goes face for everything, then I'm in good shape. Okay, well... I think I have to Shadow Flame it. Okay, so maybe Secret Paladin was a little bit better. Don't play anymore. I'm good. I don't really want to tap, to be honest. Like, against Murloc decks, that's pretty dangerous. I'm gonna do it, YOLO. Next turn, we're dropping these two. I wonder what those cards are if he's not playing anything. Okay. Do we have lethal? Eleven, thirteen, seventeen. Still not lethal. I don't know if they play secrets. I hope they don't. Well, now we have it. If he doesn't play anything. Got him. To be honest, in the beginning, I was a little scared I was going to lose that. Shadow Flame saved the day. She has the pearl. Let's collect our prize and depart first haste. At the end of your turn, replace all minions with new ones that cost one more. All right, so we made this very custom garbage deck just to beat the third boss. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, you're not seeing it. All right, so. The reason why we made that garbage deck is because this hero power is very RNG. And you just, like, every turn, you make one that goes where the cost is one more. So generally, things can get out of control after turn four. So generally, you want to have board control. That is the main part of this. And why I chose Rogue, I don't know. I probably could have chose something else, but I felt like I wasn't even going to use it. What we're going to mulligan for is one drops, two drops, and stuff on curve. Now what, We chose this one because I chose a lot of summon ones where you just summon it so you can get stuff better, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not sure if, if you only go first. <clears throat> All right, so... Is it better to have two of these or just one? I think it doesn't really matter. We will trade. If it didn't have the Pyromancer that had the coin, I probably would have gone face. That's so dumb. They have that every turn three. Unbelievable. Whenever you target this minion with a spell, gain Divine Shield. Get it up, big we have to kill that. If I want something to survive, I guess I'll play that. Here 
I think we should attack. I don't think I'll have anything too expensive next turn so I can weapon and uh, play whatever. That's the kind of RNG I just get in general. Hopefully it doesn't have any Molten Giants. That could be really bad. For Got him, boys. Obey. So the objective for this one is just get board control. And, you know, hopefully not get wrecked by RNG. That is such a terrible card. Like, there's a reason you choose your class. I mean, we're most likely gonna play it just for the experience. After so many years, the staff of origination is complete. Hey, what? Hello, explorers. I am Rafa, the Supreme Archaeologist. Thank you for finding my staff. Let me give you a demonstration of his power. Yeah, find out next week. Alrighty. So we're not completely done yet. We still have the class challenges. Um, this one's gonna be annoying. Hunter one is actually not too bad. Rexa versus Lord Slithersby. All right, so how are we gonna do this? You dare invade the ruined city? Let the hunt begin. That's a new card. Do we get this? When an opposing hero power is used, deal five damage to a random enemy. Job's done. Is that good? I don't know. It could be good. Well, that's on auto cast, so 50-50 uh, or 33%. Please. Please. Nope. Um, put a one cost minion. Offer, please. No need to waste my hunter's mark yet. If next turn, I'll probably use it. That's kind of bad. Done. Hopefully they kill it. <clears throat> the dream play to five two runs into the four two. All right, got him. Not got him. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Smork. Oh, that could go really wrong. Of course not. We'll just play this for fun. Give that minion a turn to get ready. I can't 
do that. My Not too bad. We're in the lead. We have a non-garbage hero power right now. That's annoying. Didn't we, like, turn 7 him on the normal one? So good, I think we're in the lead. The only time I've lost is during the third boss of the normal, and it's because we got wrecked by RNG. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's play this one first. Only that wasn't a taunt. That, I don't know. Did that miss lethal? I might have. Got him. Rust those traps. God damn it. People are actually going to play that. That's gonna be annoying for hunters again. I don't know. Will this week actually actually change the meta for Hearthstone? Probably not. I don't know though. I don't know what's in this deck. So, on curve. What up? I'm playing this first just because it has a higher chance of hitting a minion. Good. We don't want it we we don't want it to go out of control when he summons a lot of Murlocs. So it's probably gonna go trade into that one. Yep. Did you bring some fish? For this one, make sure to board control and drain your hand as much as possible so the hero power doesn't get any effect. I did it that way just so I could play that next turn. I kinda got greedy with that. I just wanna play two of them and then Lightning Bolt. Whoa, that is so cheap. It goes that one summon first. Fuck you, game. Wow. <clears throat> if that's a card that you actually get. I might be upset because 
If you summon that first, or you summon a Murloc Tidecaller, he gets free buffs, unlike that one. Or it didn't, because it summoned second. I'll just have to... This could go really wrong, actually. <laughs> We're doing it, though. If he doesn't have an answer, we just win. a lot of raiders. Fortunately, that was not enough. Smart. We'll look at all the cards afterwards just so I can give you an idea. Alright, Priest. This might take a couple of tries because it's really annoying to play against this deck. Or the hero power. If we don't get a good opening hand, we just lose. That's how it goes. Or we have bad RNG. So as I said before, board control is key. Alright, we're playing all of those on turn one. Yoink. Value. Damn it. I'll give it a shot. Really, game? Really? God, that's annoying. I'm an idiot. I probably should attack from that just because to get one damage. It's gonna change. As long as it doesn't have any kind of like AOE clears, that's fine. That's getting wrecked. Or not. Don't mess with us. Alright. Funnel cakes. Funnel cakes. Easy game. So we will be doing the heroic ones later. I kind of actually just want to see what the hero powers are. End of your turn, replace all minions with new ones. Yours cost one more. Okay. Draw two cards. That one's not too bad. You just have AoE to clear it, and you should be... If you have board control, you should be fine. Summon a Hungry Naga. Instead of a 1-1, one, one, it's most likely going to be like a 3-3 three, three or 5-5. Five, five. Alright, so let's take a look at all our new cards that we got. <clears throat> So, both players have plus two spell damage. I don't see that being used because in Druids, there are a lot of four drops that are very important, like Keeper. Um, okay, Swipe is a lot. So, you don't want to have too many four drops, and there are ones that are just better. And 4-4 four, for four, four is just generally not that good. Hunter, Dart Trap. We're probably going to see that used a lot. 
it looks pretty good. Especially how this game is, a lot of RNG. Uh, this could lose you games. I don't think we got anything from that. Summon seven Murlocs that died this game. We're definitely going to be seeing that. I'm not sure about high level play, but things are going to happen. Anything can happen. Yeah. So we're going to see that as in joke decks or people just completely playing Murloc decks. Um, in my opinion, the best way to counter Murloc decks is Priest. Has a lot of AoE. Uh, Warrior just has a lot of armor to clear it. So generally, Murloc decks, if you don't have a good opening hand against it, you're just going to lose. But if you do, the best ways are things that have like high defense minions, taunts. Druid are very good. Warriors are good. Priests have a lot of clear. So shamans are pretty good. Paladins, maybe. Generally, everything except like stuff that doesn't have a lot of clear. And tomb, choose an enemy minion, shuffle it into your deck. That's the biggest waste of six man I've ever seen in my life. Don't think I'll ever see that after like two weeks of this. Destroy any minion damaged by this minion. You're better off just playing the one with stealth. Because that actually can't be targeted. So, yeah. Everything is awesome. They sure like adding Murloc garbage in this game. For seven mana, though, like you have to be ahead on board, and you're at that point. If you're playing full Murlocs and it's turn seven, and you have board control, you're most likely already going to be winning. So, I don't see this being used. I guess people will try it. And then, obviously, this is the new Legendary of the Week. Um, it's a cool concept, but I feel like you chose a class for a reason. Why would you want to change the hero power? It could be good for very clutch situations. Like, let's say you, you have one health and you're an opponent. You're, like, top decking. I don't know. And you actually need armor to survive fatigue. At that point... That's kind of useless, but to deal one damage to a random enemy, that I feel like we'll see that being played, I guess. Um, one damage is one damage, so value. Yeah. Overall, I think I gave my opinions on what I think will happen with those cards, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.